brilliant. Dana Lash said something at, at the CPAC conference uh, just a while back that stuck with me when she said that we need to change the hearts and minds of people if we're going to have any victory. Well, we don't change the hearts and minds of people by mimicking liberals, mimicking their behavior, mimicking their games, which is why I think, first of all, we need to stop, cease and desist immediately all reports of what's being said on MSNBC, no matter how vile, no matter how hypocritical, whatever the case may be. Fox News is number one on the ratings because of how much they talk about us. They give us free advertising all the time. Do we want MSNBC to enjoy the same benefit? Of course we don't. If you had, if you were to run to the web and type a blog every time MSNBC said something hypocritical, inflammatory, fatuous, just plain wrong, you would be doing nothing but typing blogs all day long. So what benefit, what advancement do you think is going to come from running to the web and saying, did you hear what L. Sharpton said? Did you hear what Ed Schultz said? Did you hear what Rachel Maddow Who cares? Let MSNBC dry up and become as desiccated as the bones of a dead rat at the bottom of Death Valley. Stop talking about MSNBC unless you're telling somebody else to tell them to stop talking about it. Don't give them a platform. Knock it off. Secondly, we have to stop mimicking the way the left takes little tidbits like this latest thing with Hillary Rosen and blowing them up. Ann Romney's first tweet was about she 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 just coincidentally decides to to start tweeting when there's uh when there's something like this to to talk, when there's a jab. Now, granted, she kind of took the high road and basically just said, you know, I raised five boys. It was work, but it was it, her first tweet was in response to something. It it basically exploited something stupid said by somebody on the left. What she said was stupid, but look, and don't don't take this as as I'm defending Hillary Rosen because I'm not. But the mature thing to do, and conservatives need to start being a little bit more mature. I've seen some stuff happening. Okay, where, where you guys are just mimicking what liberals do. Liberals are supposed to be the ones with the crayon stuck in their pampers. All right? When we go running to the web and trying to blow, did you hear what they said? It just make it just reflects bad on us because it just it makes us look just like them. It just makes us look like the right side of their childish infantile games. So now what Hillary Rosen giving her the benefit of the doubt, what I think she meant to say was that Ann Romney uh, hadn't been in the workforce and therefore couldn't relate to having to work for a paycheck. Now, there is a valid point to that. Do I think that that as a, a, a shrill feminist that she, she thinks of, uh, Hillary Rosen that is, thinks of um, Ann Romney or any stay-at-home mom as an honorable thing? No, of course not. Feminists are insecure people. That's why they're feminists. Feminists look at men and they have to have, have to do every little thing that a man does in order to, to have a sense of, a false sense of, of uh, feeling adequate. If, they, if they're not mimicking every step, every breath a man takes, then they're, they feel inadequate. That's just an insecurity in themselves. You have somebody who is secure in themselves, like my wife, who isn't a stay-at-home mom only because in this Obama economy we cannot afford for her not to work. But she wants to be. She 
<laughs> she would love it. And I feel bad all the time for the fact that I don't make enough money. But she would love, and she'd be darn good at being a stay-at-home mom. She would love to do that. And it's because she's secure enough in herself as a person where she sees the great honor that it would be to stay at home and put more time into taking care of the house and the kids. Now, between the two of us, we do really well. You know, we're, we, we share the burden. And granted, you know, you, you could, the, the feminists could argue, well, then, and, and then you're equal. You know, she works, you work, you share the house. Yeah, okay, sure. But it is more effective and far more beneficial for one person to stay at home, maintain the house, and maintain the kids. Well, why should a woman be the one? Well, a woman doesn't have to be the one. However, in a woman's nature, a, woman, a woman's instinct, a woman's nature is of nurture. Women are better nurturers than men. Therefore, they are better equipped to stay at home and pay more to, and be with the kids more than the dads. That's just physiologically, whatever, however else, how we're built. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing... <laughs> that, that's equal. It's, it's like men have a role, women have a role, and I did not just say that a woman's role is in the home. I say I, I am saying that they are better suited than a man. I just said that a woman is better at something than a man. I am more of a feminist than you feminists. Because I recognize the strengths of a woman. And my wife can do is a, a, better at a lot of things than I am. But I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track because I don't want this to be taken as a defense video of Hillary, Hillary Rosen. Because it's not. I don't mean to defend Hillary Rosen. The purpose here is to, to look at things objectively and to say that as conservatives, we need to, to do just that. We need to stop the inflammatory blowing things up all the time. That is what the left does. Stop being like them. Stop imitating them. Be the grown-ups in the room. Elevate the discourse. Before you react in that knee-jerk way of saying, Did you hear what they said? Think of how you can be a little bit more level-headed. And try see if you can give them the benefit of the doubt before you go saying cut the crap leave that to them and let them look like the childish ones this video is getting too long I don't have a lot of time to make uh, to, to collect my thoughts and type them out and, and make a good quality video unfortunately like I just said, you know, I'm in a, a situation where I, I share the burden with my wife, and I have to squeeze time for videos like this in uh, wherever I can. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of preparation time, so forgive that. But I hope that um, you heard me, you uh, thought about what I said. If you disagree with me, go ahead, tell me. Let me have it. I got thick skin, I can take it, uh, let me have it, but, you know, just know that I have respect and love for all people. Sure, I call a spade a spade, and I criticize you liberals up and down, but, but I have respect for you as human beings, we're all, you know, we all share the light of the same sun, so go ahead, let me have it, but let, let's hear what you have to say. Watch for my future videos, please, and thank you, I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes, so you all have a good day.